Welcome back friends. So in a previous video, we were actually installing this Baofeng radio in my Jeep. And what we did is we came up with a way to quickly mount it and then quickly connect in all the things that we need. So it was just a few plugs and done. No screwing in stuff, no uh, work, work around. Well, there was workarounds because it's a handheld radio, but no odd, no funkiness, just making things work correctly. However, I messed up on the order of BNC connectors uh, that I needed to make this work. And I didn't know that I did. So um, yeah. We're gonna run me that this time. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you the correct connectors. And uh, I'll be honest, actually I'd order them a few times because I messed up on a few orders. But we got the correct connectors in this time. So let's go over what connectors that you do need. And then um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you what my idea actually is gonna look like when it's fully in the Jeep and how things uh, connect quickly, disconnect quickly. And then uh, if we have time, we'll run out and do a little range test and see if an external antenna um, actually does anything for these little radios. Um, so let's get into it. All right, friends, here we are. These are all the connectors that we need, and I definitely messed up last time on them. So let's run through them real quick, and then I'm gonna show you one special feature about one of the connectors and why you should buy that specific one over any other connector. Um, the other two, you can buy any brand or whatever you want, but this one, you should buy this specific connector, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So the first one is this guy. This is a UHF female to B and C male, and this is just gonna connect to the cable that comes off your external antenna and then give you a quick connection that you can connect onto the radio. So that guy's simple, UHF female to uh, B and C male. Your next little one that you need is this little guy. What this guy is, is this guy is a B and C male to SMA male. And essentially what he, he allows you to do is this is gonna screw into your um, handheld radio's antenna, not the external, just the one that comes with it, and give you a quick connect on that. So you can disconnect it and connect it really quickly. So there's that guy. And then we have this guy. This guy is the special one. This is the one that's actually gonna connect onto the radio itself and allow all the other antennas to connect and disconnect quickly. It is a BNC female to an SMA female. Now, here's why this one is special though. It's special in the way that it's designed. See this knurled fitting? This knurled fitting actually butts flush against the case of the radio. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here you go. You can see I have one installed right here. And uh, what's special, again, about this one is just how it butts up against the body of the radio. So you have a little connector in there, and these connectors on these radios can be fragile because these are cheaper radios. Um, so what you want to do is you want to be careful with that connector. You don't want to wiggle around too much, and you don't want to put too much stress on it is the biggest thing, especially when you're off-roading doing what we do. Very easy to do that. So this guy is nice because when you screw them down nice and tight, not too tight, but you know, snug. What happens is that neural fitting actually pushes right up against the case of the radio. And that protects that connection in there. So you have a lot less chance of ruining it by disconnecting and connecting the things. Also, just to show you in action how this works, take your BNC, pop it on twist, there you go. Pop off and twist, there you go. All right, well, now that we have this, um, now that we have all the connectors, and I showed you kind of how it works, let's go into the Jeep and connect it all and um, then we'll go for a little range test. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here we are inside the Jeep. So we have our uh, UHF cable that goes to our external antenna. We have our charging cable, and we have our little external uh, microphone here. So it should be everything we need, plus the mount. So this is our external uh, antenna. Let's go ahead and connect our UHF to B and C connector first, just so that's ready to go. And there it is. And now let's go ahead and hook it up our radio. So here we go. Radio just clips in, easy like that. Let's clip on our uh, external antenna. And I already undid the antenna that came with the radio just because it's so quick and easy with this method. And then we're going to hook in our power. There we go, we're charging. And hook in our microphone. Perfect, there we go. Now we are ready to go with an external antenna, microphone, and charging. Pretty simple and quick, and it's not gonna go anywhere on the mount. Uh, the mount's gonna hold it nice and securely, securely and keep it there. All right, well, let me know what you guys think about the setup in the comments. Um, if I had to change one thing about this, looking at it right now, uh, I would order a 90 degree um, BNC connector right here. Um, and I, actually, I think I have one laying around here somewhere. I just can't find it. But if you have a, ni have, have a 90 BNC connector right here to UHF connector, um, that would help on the strain of this cable a little bit, um, if you had any, so. Plus I put the cable back and keep it a little more low profile. So that's the one, one change I would make about the setup. Looks like it works. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and um, 
I'm going to drive out to a spot. I'm going to get my wife on the other end of this radio. And uh, we're just going to do a quick, quick little test. See if she can hear me with the little stock radio antenna here. And then um, if she can, we'll hook up the big external antenna or bigger external antenna, I should say, and see if she can hear any better or um, at all. And that'll tell us a lot. So let's go ahead, let's run out there and uh, do that. All right, so here we are, we are in the desert, um, probably about three, four miles away is what I'm gonna estimate. So a uh, pretty good distance for a little tiny radio like this. We're gonna go ahead and test the, um, the, normal, rad the normal antenna that comes on the radio. So let's go ahead, let's get Helen on the other end and uh, we're just gonna talk a random sentence and uh, then I'll switch antennas and see what she thinks. All right, Helen, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, this is antenna number one, test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Are you able to understand me? Yeah, I can hear you pretty clearly. Okay, let me switch antennas. All right, let's switch now to the external. All right, do you copy me? Yep, you sound way better than this antenna. Oh, I do, okay. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. So that does sound better, huh? Yeah, you sound pretty clear. Perfect, thank you, honey, I appreciate it. No problem. All right, there you have it. Let's go back to the shop. And we're back. So that was totally and utterly completely expected, right? We, we pretty much anyone could figure out that an external antenna was probably gonna do better than this little internal antenna uh, on the radio for the only reason that this thing is gonna be surrounded by um, metal and fiberglass and plastic and uh, you know whatever else is in your vehicle. Uh, it's very tiny and everything, whereas an external antenna, a little bit bigger, but pretty unobstructed compared to this guy since it's sitting outside and it's higher, uh, which is always better. So kind of knew it was going to do better. Um, didn't really think it was going to do worse. I would have been really shocked if it did worse though. I'd be questioning my install uh, if that were to happen, but it didn't. So I think we're good. So with that, I want to invite you guys to hit the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. If it's a viable option, if you would think about doing it and uh, what upgrades we can do to it, if any or if you have any better ideas. The only idea I have that we can change about this setup is moving it. And I'll tell you why. I steer with my left hand and shift with my right since I drive a manual. So grabbing the microphone with my left hand is very awkward to me. I'm usually talking on a microphone with my right hand through a CB. So I might have to figure out a place to move this in a better location because I didn't think about that when I installed it there. Luckily we just put sticky tape so we can move it whenever we want. But I'll, if I move it, I'll do a video on it and kind of show you where we're having it. And, um, maybe come with a bit better solution. Sometimes you don't know till you know, now we know. So there you go. Um, need to move it a little bit, I think. Other than that though, I think it's a pretty great install. I have no idea how I can make this any better, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. I'll also put all the links to the entire thing um, in the description below. So if you wanna look at what you need to install it, you can. Uh, benefits of it, don't have to run very many wires. In fact, you're running one wire because the power wire is USB. And so you just plug it into a USB port to charge it. Uh, if you want to go that route, an extended battery might just be good for you. Maybe you only run it for a day or two and all you need is the battery. Then you don't even need to run a power cable. You just have the external antenna. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, I, I really like it, to be honest. I like that it's versatile. I don't really, I mean, obviously, if you install like a real ham radio, right, like a mobile unit that's like 50 watts, it's going to be better than this. They're very low power compared to that. Uh, but this is a lot more versatile in a few ways. And the fact that I can pull it out of the vehicle and use it like down here, for example, where uh, cell phones don't really work. And if Helen needs me, she can just, uh, you know, hit me on the radio and we can talk. And uh, if I need to go and take care of something, I can or if uh, she needs something. So that's, that's good. It's versatility. Or if we have to leave the vehicle for whatever reason, if something were to happen, at least we have two radios on us. <coughs> Excuse me. That's kind of nice. So I really don't know. Um, I really don't know if I'll ever go with an actual like uh, full install ham unit because this is such a nice, convenient way to go. 
So anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, hit those comments. Let me know what you think about this whole setup and if you have any improvements or um, let me know if there's something negative that I really overlooked that maybe this isn't such a good idea. That's, that's very possible. Could be, could be a really bad idea. Anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.